Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's February 13th, 2019, and I'm in the house today in the den, and this is another episode of Ask Me Anything. Recently, recently Ishana Ingerman commented on a video that I had, I had posted, I think just last week, uh, regarding the uh, shop insulation uh, that we're doing. So we've been doing some renovation and some uh, super insulation of the workshop walls. And, um, and Ishana had commented, love this, uh, what state are you, live, are you in? So uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna link a couple of videos in the upper right hand corner. Uh, the first video link will be to a Google Earth video that I had created a couple of years ago. And that video, what it does is gives you a sort of a first person perspective from being out in space and then zooming in to North America. As you see the globe, then you see North America, then into New York State, and then into central New York area and coming right down on, on our property. And then you can get an idea of some of the ponds, the swales, canal systems. Uh, you could see where our house is. You could see uh, what you can see as you would zoom into your own property using Google Earth. And that's pretty interesting. Uh, it's, it's several years old now. And so quite a few things have changed. And um, then the next video that I'm going to post in the upper right hand corner is I'll choose one of the drone videos. And you can always search on our channel for any of the drone videos or garden type videos, which I, I try to show where things, where we're growing different things, where our food forests are, you know, and how they relate to our canal systems and the bioremediation systems and, and all those sorts of things. And our, certainly our vegetable gardens as well. So thanks so much for the question, Ishana. I appreciate it, and I hope this uh, a uh, answers your question, and welcome to our channel. Uh, another question is from Kate Cortez. Thanks, Kate, for another great question. Uh, this question was in regards to a recent Ask Me Anything about the honey hut that we had built, uh, I think the year before last <laughs> now. It, time flies by so quickly around here. But the Honey Hut, uh, and I'll put a link to that video in the upper right-hand corner. And uh, Kate had asked, love the Honey Hut. Haven't seen this before. Guess I'll have to scroll through some of the older videos. Do you feed your bees over the winter or just keep all of their honey in the hives for them to get by until spring? Great question. So in that video I had mentioned, I fancy myself uh, or ourselves here as bee stewards as opposed to being beekeepers. Beekeepers can be professionals or hobbyists uh, and there are lots of uh, YouTube uh, vid channels and videos about people who run official apiaries who are in the in the business of producing queens or selling bees those or bee supplies. Uh, those folks who are also the, 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 the typical homesteaders or hobbyists that have a couple of hives in their backyards and all. And they, they're all from all around the world in all different uh, climate zones as well. In the background, Hank's getting another drink of water, so <laughs> I'm going to keep this video running. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below to our... Um, website mindfullivingsanctuary.com and uh, and I'm going to link to the page where we talk about our bee stewardship program. So the short answer is no we don't feed the bees any uh, beet sugar or uh, uh, sugar cane or uh, high fructose corn syrup, extract the honey and then feed the bees is, which is typically done well, with, by most professional and hobbyist beekeepers. We also, um, we provide them a habitat for them to, uh, uh, to live out their natural lives and, and so that we can study them. And that's really important to me so that I can learn throughout this whole process. So on our property, we don't use any pesticides. So no insecticides, herbicides, or fungicides. Uh, and that goes for, we don't treat our bees either, so we don't use any of those chemicals. 
we don't use any allopathic uh, remedies for the bees. Now, we do use um, some herbal medicines for our cats and dogs and ourselves as well. So there's dandelion root in some of the videos. You've probably seen me talking about those things. But uh, many of the things that, that people would be using um, in the hives as a, a, a natural means of controlling things. I don't even want to open up the hives because temperature fluctuations, humidity, the odor, the, ferom the, um, the pheromones uh, become disrupted as well within the hive. So, uh, so those are just a couple of the, the, the things that I think about when I'm, when I'm trying to be as natural as possible. There's been a tremendous amount of deforestation in the part of the country that we live in, and some of those uh, trees that would have natural uh, hives in them are gone. And, and I've mentioned in some of my beekeeping videos uh, or bee steward pro, uh, videos in the past, I do do cutouts every once in a while. I haven't done any in a couple years. But uh, when, when someone would have a tree that would be, that would be cut down typically they've already sprayed them uh, because it's everyone's working uh, time is money so when, when a tree service is there typically a lot of them they're just going to spray the bees when people are doing um, uh, renovations on someone's home uh, work on there often the bees are, are spray, sprayed as well and killed but there's some people who have contacted me saying hey, hold, off, hold off on the renovations Let's see if we can get someone to take the bees out of there. And I've done that, and, uh, and that ends up being wonderful as well. So um, I think that's all I'll say. I'm going to link below the, um, the couple-year-old uh, description of what I think of, of how our bee steward program works. Um, and, uh, and those are the, are the means by which we raise the bees and care for the bees, trying to be as natural as possible and also learning as much as possible. The Honey Hut, uh, hopefully this year I'll be able to use uh, Bumblebee, the mini excavator, be able to get uh, power out to the Honey Hut and get data cables out there as well so that I can be taking measurements uh, uh, real time and monitoring them with, uh, with cameras real time as well. So I can actually be more descriptive as far as what we're observing in the hives and document these things as far as time, weather, temperature, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it, those are the things that we're able to do up to this point. So thanks so much for the questions. I'm going to end this video today. I really appreciate it a great deal. Everyone's uh, contributions to the channel. It, it means a lot to me. So thanks so much for, for watching, folks, and have a super fantastic day. Bye-bye now.